ZHI Studios. Please like, subscribe and comment. The Lionsgate Bridge is located in Stanley Park in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Vancouver is a walkable city, and Stanley Park is its crown jewel. The park is only 1.3 miles and a half hour walk from downtown Vancouver, and its hotels. The park is wooded with magnificent views of Vancouver, mountains, ships, and water along the seawall. There are footpaths throughout the park, as well as roads for cars. Before you go, do an internet search for images that the Lionsgate Bridge. This will give you a good idea of where other people have taken great photography. Go to Stanley Park twice, the first time to hunt for good locations, and the second time to choose your final spot. Using manual mode will give you better control over your image, and your camera. You can control light in your image in three ways. By adjusting the light sensitivity of your camera image sensor, called ISO. By keeping the camera shutter open for a longer or shorter period of time. By opening the hole in the lens wider or narrower, called aperture. The benefits of using a tripod are the ability to take pictures in low light, the ability to take longer exposures, and the ability to prevent camera shake and blurry images. A camera shutter release is recommended to Arrive one hour to an hour and a half before twilight. Arriving early will give you an unhurried time to set up your camera on a tripod, choose manual settings, determine focus, and finalize composition. Every photograph should have excellent composition. The beach and log make an interesting foreground. The log draws the viewer eyes into the photograph. The bridge is an important horizontal element in the middle ground, and West Vancouver and Sky are vital backgrounds. Take a series of pictures in which you are primarily changing the shutter speed. Then take a series of pictures in which you are primarily changing aperture. Finally, take a series of pictures in which you are primarily changing ISO. Some of the images will be overexposed, others will be underexposed, and some will be perfectly exposed. You will find images you like within the nuances of exposure. For example, when you arrive there will be plenty of light, so set ISO at 200. As the evening becomes darker, change the setting to ISO 400, and ISO 800. Choose a shutter speed, and continue to change it by making it longer. For example, start with shutter speed of 1 200th of a second. Then change it to 1 100th of a second, 1 50th of a second, 1 half second, 1 second, 2 seconds, 5 seconds, and 10 seconds. Start by setting aperture at a wide setting, f2. Then start to narrow the aperture to f4, f8, f10, f12, f16, f20, and f22. Alternate method. Exposure bracketing. Choose an ISO, aperture, and shutter speed using the camera's light meter for a perfect exposure. Then change the aperture and shutter speed to underexpose and overexpose in one half stop increments. For example, underexpose by two stops, one and one half stop, one stop, and one half stop. Next make one perfect exposure. Finally, overexpose by one half stop, one stop, one and one half stops, and two stops. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate viewers taking time to look at our content. ZHI Studios. Please like, subscribe and comment.